Our word of the day, our word of the day comes from the book of Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7. And it says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is, is the Lord's. Amen. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord's. Well, I think these verses kind of speak for themselves. Blessed is the man. You know, the Lord truly doesn't want us to put our trust in anyone else other than him. And as we go in this Christian walk, we realize that the only person we can truly trust is the Lord. And, and we can't trust this world. We can't trust the government. We can't trust the people in this world as, you know, the, the powers to be. You know, we we know, realize, I realize that this country stopped thinking about the welfare of the people a long time ago. But then again, people still put their trust and their faith in, them, in, the, in the system. And the Lord truly tells us that we are not to put our faith in anything other than him. He is the one that sees all, knows all, and in control of everything. So for us, it just makes sense to trust in him because he, we are blessed as a result of it. He blesses us and he guides us and he helps us. The things that we see going around in our world, that they're not fair. This world is truly not fair. We know that the world is not based on not being on partiality and, and, you know, favoritism and all that stuff. We know that that's the way this world is run and that's the way things go on in our, in our world, in our country. There's no fairness in that. You know, we, we look back and we can look and see that, you know, the poor are still poor and those that are weak still get stepped on. But we know that these words truly tell us that if we can put our trust and our faith in the Lord, we will be blessed. And that's what the Lord is trying to tell us today. Trust in him. The man and woman who put their faith in him will truly be blessed. So when these times come, when, when the issues and the problems of this world get worse and worse and worse, and trust me, they will. Blessed is the person who puts their trust in the Lord. Let's read a few more verses in Jeremiah 17. Let's read verses 7 and 8. It says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. He shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes but if the leaves its leaves will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought nor will cease from yielding fruit you know this is the blessings no matter how things look no matter what are going on in this world, we are to stay planted. The word always talks about being planted in the Lord. We know that when plants are planted, the nutrients come through the roots and goes up to the rest of the tree and then it bears fruits. We are the trees. We are to be planted by the rivers of water in our Lord Jesus Christ. We don't have to be afraid when the drought comes and there's no water. We don't have to be afraid when the heat comes. We don't have to be afraid at all because we are planted in our Lord Jesus Christ. We have our faith and our trust and our hope is truly in him. In Psalms 40 verse 4, it says, Blessed is the man or woman who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud, 
nor such as turn aside to lies. We are way past following the world. God has brought us out of darkness into his light. We do not respect the, the people of persons, the proud. And we can recognize it. We can see it. Look, just look on the news and social media and, and YouTube and Facebook and all those things. You can see the, the non-respect that people have for the Lord. The Lord tells us to see these things and know these things, but not do these things. We are not to respect these things nor follow these things because they're all lies. They're all deceitful things to keep us from knowing and following our Lord Jesus Christ. The devil wants that. He wants us to all go back to the lives that we once had, back into the darkness that we were all there a part of. He wants us to trust in, in the world and the system. But we pray for those who don't know the Lord, those that can't put their trust in him, those that don't put their trust in him. Praise the Lord for that, because we can pray and pray and pray. And we can tell them and truly share with them his, your issues are because you don't have the Lord. I tell people that all the time. You know, your issues are worldly issues and you do it in a worldly response. You handle it in a worldly way and not in a godly way. Your eyes are closed to what truly what the blessing that God has you. If you can surrender your pride in yourself and put your trust in him, because that's what it's all about. Once you realize you can just let it go and give it to the Lord, everything in your life changes. Praise the Lord for that. In Proverbs 30, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 8, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lead not on your own understanding. With all your heart, opening your heart and letting God lead you. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be it will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Praise the Lord. This is the benefits of trusting in God. We won't have to worry about what we should do and what we will say, where we will go. God will put his spirit in us. They will be health to our flesh and strength to our bones when he filled us with his Holy Spirit. And that will guide us and move us to whatever and whenever and however he wants us to go and do. This is what trusting in the Lord looks like. Just surrendering everything in our lives to him. And he would direct our paths. In Psalms 20, verse 7, it says, Some trust in chariots, 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 and some in horses. But we will remember the name of our we will remember the name of Lord our God. Some put their trust in the world, some put their trust in the system, some put their trust in people. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. It will, nothing will happen by putting your trust in these things. They will just cause you more grief and more anguish and more sorrow, more pain, more trouble, and make things worse. So I encourage everyone to just help cry out, put their trust in the Lord. And the word always tells us if we have problems putting our trust or we have problems opening our heart, ask the Lord. The Lord says ask. You know, if we don't have the trust that we need, we ask him to give it to us. If we don't have our hearts are not open enough for the Lord, 
We ask him to open our hearts. It's just as simple as that. We don't get because we do not ask. That's what the Bible says. Truly, truly we do not. We do not ask. In Psalm 62, verse 8, it says, Trust in him at all times. You people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Amen. Amen. Pour out your heart. Reveal your, your feelings. God understands that we, we struggle in this world. We that we still have this flesh. And we're walking among people of darkness that know not what they do because they're being influenced by the spiritual darkness of, of Satan. But we have to trust him at all times. No matter what we see, no matter what we do, no matter what's going on in this world, in our lives, we just pour it out to him. Many times I've seen things happening and I just say, Lord, you see what's happening. You see this is not right. I just pray you do something. And God does it. He changes the whole situation. But you truly do have to ask. So I want everybody to think about these words. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. We thank you that we can just come before you and just surrender everything to you. Your word tells us to ask. We, we are to trust in you at all times. But I know, and I know, and I know that this is not something we can do on our own because we still have this flesh that we battle with daily and constantly and all the time. We still see things in the world that we don't like, and it's hard to put our trust in you when we see the injustices of this world and the corruption and the evil. It's hard. We want to do something. We want to fix something. We want to say something. But I know that we all just need to trust in you. So I pray you help my brothers and my sisters as they go through their daily day life today, that you anoint them with your spirit, that you give them the words that they need to speak, and that you guide them in the way you want them to go and the things you want them to do, and just bless their whole day today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all and have a wonderful day in the Lord.